Fruits of the increased constituency development funds can be visibly seen in most parts of the country. Through CDF, construction projects have been implemented, empowerment funds disbursed to individuals and cooperatives. However, during the stakeholder consultative meeting held at Choma National Farmers Union in Choma, some civil society organizations complained that people living with disabilities are being left out from these developments. The guideline of the CDF, he mentioned about two, inclusive, inclusiveness with persons with disabilities. But to me, it's like just the, the word, inclusive. Uh, we come in on CDF, it's like you are left out. Uh, uh, well, since they say the CDF is a game changer, game changer for economy. But if you left a person with abilities, person with abilities fail to access that is CDF. To me, it's like government will still have the burden. Apart from that, I want to look at um, the language in your guidelines. Zambia has got seven official languages, but you are only concentrating on English. Do you realize that persons with abilities are not educated? They haven't been to school, and the understanding of the guidelines is not easy. Also, I would like to share my segment of my, my brother there on persons with disabilities. Uh, you should be interested to know is open it. Uh, we actually take key priorities in ensuring that persons with disabilities participate in national processes. But Choma Municipal Council Director of Planning Abraham Mobola clarified that constituents' development funds are non discriminatory. The, the CDF is not, uh, does not segregate. As long as the, the, you push in an application, there's a certificate from ZAPIT. That is prioritized. Indeed, inclusiveness in national development does not only promote development, but it also promotes human rights. Gerard Mayaba Maumbi reporting for Speak Up Youth Project and Baita FM in Choma.